Hello everybody, it's Math Dominus, and today I'm going to be talking about the problems with Comic Book Cast. Now, for those of you who don't know, Comic Book Cast is basically a superhero news channel that talks about whatever is going on in the movie industry that involve comic books or superheroes. Now, he occasionally does other things like Star Wars, Transformers, and even the occasional movie reviews and podcast videos, but for the most part, this guy is a news channel that talks about superheroes. Now, why am I making a problems with video on this guy? Well, I have several problems with this guy. Number one, this guy is horrible at his job. Seriously, this guy does not do his research well. He's a horrible journalist. For example, when he made his video uh, talking about how Fox is losing a bunch of money because their movies keep bombing and that the only way for Fox to, you know, be saved is if Disney buys them and Fox earns a ton of money. However, Fox is not failing. In 2018, they had two of the highest grossing films of 2018, which were Deadpool 2 and Bohemian Rhapsody. Fox is not losing money. If anything, they're being quite successful for a time. And let's not forget, Disney is not invincible. Sure, Disney buying Fox would definitely give Fox a ton of money, but you have to keep in mind, Disney also had several bombs this year. For example, Solo. Yeah, that didn't do so well. A Wrinkle in Time. Yeah, nah, that didn't do so well either. And then we have the Nutcracker movie. Uh, I forgot this movie even existed. I mean, who the fuck remembers this one? Yeah, you can see my point. He does his research very poorly. He claims that Fox needs to be saved by Disney in order for them to, you know, not go bankrupt. But it's certainly not the case. Yeah, this guy does not do his research well. And another problem I have with a comic book cast is, number two, he milks most of his videos. Like, I'm not just talking about making videos every day. I'm talking about the fact that he seems to recycle the same exact topic. For example, you could see here that he made a video talking about the Rotten Tomato score or the reviews for Venom and how bad they are. Yeah, we all know, we get it, nobody wants to see Venom, but, you know, we get it. One video, not that bad. Then, he makes another video that's pretty much the same topic, just slightly different. Um, okay, dude, okay, we get it, we get it, nobody wants to see Venom, we get it. But then, he makes a third video just before Venom gets released. Like, dude, fucking calm down, we get it, no one wants to see Venom, we get it. Whew, and that's not the only example. When Fox was being bought by Disney, this dude made a bunch of videos discussing about Fox buying Disney, you know, he makes multiple videos about it. In fact, if you type in in the YouTube search bar, Fox and Disney deal or Fox being bought by Disney, you know, it's something like that. You go in, there are several comic book cast videos on there. Yeah, this dude pretty much milks the fuck out of the same topic. Like he recycles the same topic over and over again. And only now are people starting to notice this shit, including myself. Now... Honestly, guys, Comic Book Cast is not as bad as people like Speechy or Megadube or Nintendo. But you want to know what's worse than Comic Book Cast himself? It's his moronic fans. His fans are some of the most toxic people I have ever witnessed. They're more toxic than Jeffy fanboys, for fuck's sakes. Seriously, these people are the definition of poison. Okay, let, let, let me just put up some of these comments. Yeah, these people are Disney dick writers. They'll defend Disney no matter what. Whether Disney made some sort of flaw or made a shitty movie, these people are quick to defend. Yeah, very toxic people indeed. So, yeah, but my biggest gripe with them is how hypocritical they are. In fact, before we get into any sort of hypocrisy these people have claimed, let's go analyze a comment one of these people made, alright, shall we? Alright, so this comment is made by Ivan Alex... What the fuck? I don't know how to fuck say that, man. 
introduces Vision in just one movie, a morally righteous superhero capable of wielding Mjolnir as strong as Thor, Hulk, and Iron Man at the time, when with the one the ability to actually beat Ultron with his AI escaping through the internet, as the intelligence of the internet itself in a super AI computer created by one of the biggest geniuses in the MCU. His body is made of the strongest, most versatile um, material in existence, which is a uh, stupidly scarce outside of the mystic computeristic nation in Africa no one knows of yet, can shapeshift, density shift, and phase and self fragginate Man, children, I sleep. Alright, um, yeah, you can tell it's bad if he calls people man-children. Alright, let's continue reading. <clears throat> Introduces Doctor Strange in one movie, a genius doctor who has just a couple of months learned to bend reality of his will, being able to open portals of teleportation, create illusions, figure constructs of magic as such script shields, and lance with his bare hands. As a mystical cape with his support in battle and allows him to fly an absolute control over an infinity stone, he's in a single hand beat himself into being a trans our dimension. Man-children, I smear. Captain Marvel is in one year and away, and we barely know anything about this movie or character. <laughs> okay, the first problem with this comment is that he tries to use Vision and Doctor Strange as overpowered characters. Therefore, we can't criticize Captain Marvel for being overpowered. But here's the thing. People are mad that Captain Marvel being overpowered. It's because... They say Captain Marvel is super powerful. She can defeat Thanos without actually showing why. Like, the movie hasn't even come out yet, and yet they're already telling us that Captain Marvel is the strongest character in the entire MCU. And, you know, the fact that, you know, the actor who plays Captain Marvel is a feminist, can you really blame people for being just a little bit worried about Captain Marvel? Also... Vision has an infinity stone in his head. Of course he's going to be fucking powerful. He is literally a robot with an infinity stone. However, even Vision has character flaws. And hell, he even got stabbed in Infinity War by Corvus Glaive. Yeah, not so overpowered now. And in Doctor Strange, it took a few months for Strange to learn. But that's the thing. He learned how to use the power. He didn't just, you know... Gary Stew is way there. No, he actually learned how to, you know, control magic and stuff. And, in fact, he doesn't even, you know, he's not even that powerful. Like, in some scenes, he's even kind of weak, you know? Like, he doesn't fully master the powers. In fact, he even wanted to quit the mystic arts because he killed someone, and he doesn't want to, you know, kill people. So, Doctor Strange and Vision are flawed characters. They're powerful, yes, but they're flawed, not too powerful characters. Meanwhile, I'm getting told that Captain Marvel is the strongest character in the MCU. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. But anyways, let's get to the hypocrisy of these fans. They say that Venom is gonna be a shitty movie, right? And this was before Venom gets released. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. If these people want to hate on Venom before he gets released, I'm fine with that, okay? I can shit on a ton of movies before they get released. However, they then criticize people who shit on the Captain Marvel trailer and say, but you can't criticize Captain Marvel yet, the movie hasn't come out, despite the fact that these people openly bash Venom, they openly, like, you know, shit on Venom before it got released. I'm not saying you can't shit on Venom or you must absolutely shit on Captain Marvel. I'm saying that if you're going to critique someone about, you know, critiquing a trailer... Make sure you don't actually do it yourself, because, yeah, because otherwise you'll be a fucking hypocrite, alright? <sighs> Man. But yeah, comic book cast, honestly, he needs to improve, okay? For starters, don't milk the same topic, dude. Just make one video about it. And also, don't freaking milk the shit out of your videos, okay? Like, take your time to make, you know, videos. I mean, you're not going to lose your subscribers in one day without posting. And make sure you keep your moronic fans in control. Because seriously, these are the types of people who get into fights between Marvel and DC. Like, they're literally fighting over characters wearing underpants on the outside and fighting aliens. Fucking ridiculous. It's more ridiculous than complaining about a guy who plays with toys. <sighs> Anyways, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I hope Comic Book Cast improves, and I guess I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Oh boy, I have a headache.